Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We all might have experienced anxiety at some point or maybe even currently have moments of anxiety. If not for ourselves, maybe a dear or near one is going through it at the moment. This can lead to low mood, but also heavy thoughts or heavy feelings. And it can even go further into ruminating. Ruminating is having excessive or intrusive thoughts about negative experiences or negative feelings. We can also ruminate on certain fears that we might be holding on to. And more often than not, we tend to zero in on the worst case scenario. Now, there are ways there are techniques that can help us break this cycle, this continuous pattern of negativities, and maybe even eliminate some of it. And it is all about getting into a space of evolution, of progress, and growing past this pattern of negativity that we spend so much energy on. Imagine taking all the energy that we spend on the thinking about the past or worrying about the future and investing that energy into the present. We can create magic in the present moment or in the here, in the now. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you a few techniques that I know of and that I have implemented in my life and that have brought a world of a change in my life. Uh, some of them I learned from Zinia Barucha, who is a therapist at the Illuminations Wellbeing Center in Dubai. Uh, and some of them are techniques that I have been using for a long time now in my life. So I thought, why not share those with you? I even asked Zinia if I could share those on my page because they're great and it can help so many people right so the first three techniques I'll be practicing them with you so we'll do them together and then I'll give you three more exercises that you can practice by yourself all these practices and techniques have a lot of power so you can choose whichever suits you better or whichever you feel like practicing at any time so please stay tuned until the end of the video so you get to know all of the techniques all you're going to need is a glass of water, drinking water, and something to write on, something to take notes. All right, now we're going to start with the first technique, which is all about orienting ourselves back into the present. All right, so come to a comfortable seat. You just need to feel completely at ease where you are at this moment. And I invite you to close your eyes just gently closing the eyelids and telling yourself that there is no other place you need to be at this time, at this moment, and this is time for you. You deserve it. Relaxing all the muscles on your face, start to take deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling your chest, your belly, the sides of the ribs expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, emptying out completely. And these deep breaths have a lot of power. They help to send signals to the brain and tell the brain, hey, there's no need to be in any alert or panic mode. All is good, all is well. Good job. Once you've taken two or three full deep breaths, come back to your natural rhythm just natural breaths in through the nose and out through the nose you can keep your eyes closed as i guide you through this technique so like i said we're going to orient ourselves back into the present i invite you first to say out what day it is today and what date it is today today is so and so day so and so date beautiful next I invite you to tell yourself where you currently are. Start with the country, with the city, next the area in the city you live in, maybe the road where you are, your apartment number or your building name. Great job. You can say some of those again to yourself, the country, the city, the area you're in, the road, your apartment number, your building name. Great job. Now, please say out your name to yourself. My name is 
once again my name is beautiful great job you can blink your eyes to open gently and now just have a look and tell yourself what you're wearing at the present moment for myself i would say i'm wearing a green skirt and a green top i'm wearing my hair up today and i'm wearing two bangles so go ahead and do that for yourself tell yourself what you're wearing great now you might be thinking how is this going to help me this is a very very powerful exercise even if it seems very simple because it is bringing you back into the here into the now let me give you another example just to put it into a different perspective um, let's take this lamp now if this lamp is here it's not really serving its purpose is it can't see it it's hidden away what if it is here you can see it it's not shining at its best of its ability it's just hidden somewhere again however if it's here it is shining nice and bright okay at its full potential you can see it i can see it i can feel it right so this is exactly what we did with ourselves we took ourselves back from the past if we were dwelling in the past or we brought ourselves back from the present if we were worrying about the uh, the future sorry if we were worrying about the future and came back and grounded ourselves back into the present which is very powerful now let's move on into the second technique for this you're going to need that glass of water so take that glass of drinking water and I invite you to take a sip of the water. So we're not going to gulp it down. We're not going to swallow it. Just keep that water in your mouth. I'm going to talk through it, so I'm not doing it with you, but I'm guiding you through it. So take that sip, keep it in your mouth, and I invite you to close your eyes gently and be present with the sensations that this water is bringing inside your mouth. Maybe feel the texture inside the mouth maybe feel the temperature of the water whether you've taken warm water or room temperature water how does that water feel in your mouth be completely present here and now you can swallow that water and follow the journey of the water so through the throat into the body into your stomach and imagine and visualize that water nourishing every cell of your body bringing in clarity bringing in nourishment to every part of the body and that same water is going to take away anything that doesn't serve your body anymore good you can blink your eyes to open if your eyes are still closed so what you did is you took a sip of water you kept it in the mouth without swallowing it keeping it in the mouth you got present and you felt all the sensations that this water brought and then you traveled inside your body with that water another thing that you can add to this is intention so put in an intention in this water that you're going to drink because it is going to become your body it is going to become you it is going to um, kind of transport those um, intentions into your being so you can say out maybe some affirmations some positive affirmations let this water bring in clarity in my mind let this bring in joy into my being let this bring in uh, nourishment into my body and then you take that sip of water right so that was the second technique very simple you can do it many many times during the day every time you take uh, a sip of water you can do that great the third technique is about providing a sensory experience to your body and uh, kind of distracting yourself from that constant pattern that might be running through your mind and again grounding yourself back inside your body and the sensations that your body feels through those senses now we're going to start with 
So for this, you might need something to note um, a few things down. First, I invite you to write down two or three things that you like the touch of. For example, if you have a cushion like I have here, this has a velvety texture and I absolutely love it. It feels good against my skin. Or maybe you have your favorite blanket or something that you like to wear that feels really good on your skin. Write that down. Second, maybe it is something that you like the touch of on your skin without physically touching your skin. For example, I like to be in nature because when I feel the breeze touch my skin, it feels really good and it is therapeutic to me. Maybe you feel the same, so you can write that down. Maybe you like the sun on your skin, that is also touch. The sun rays are touching your skin, so you can write that down. Okay, once you have two or three things, um, we're going to move on to the next one. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down what helps us to find joy, what makes us feel good through the senses. You've written down touch. Now we're going to write down sounds that make us feel good. It could be positive affirmations, like we did earlier with the water, or um, positive affirmations starting with I am that feels soothing to you. Maybe I am healed, I am whole, I am complete. I am healthy. If this seems or sounds good to you, you can write those down. Or it could be a mantra that you say that you like to hear. It could be simply Om or any other prayer that you like to say that makes you feel good. Or it could be a song. It could be a song that feels very soothing to your ears. A positive feeling brings in a positive feeling to your body. All right? Great. Again, it can be nature sounds. I personally love nature sounds. So I would uh, sit in my balcony. I have some more plants in my balcony. And when there's a soft breeze, uh, the leaves make sounds, which I absolutely love listening to. So even if it means closing my eyes and listening to those sounds for a couple of minutes or birds, I absolutely love the sound of birds. And this reminds me, uh, my mother always, always says when she hears birds chirping, she's like, it has a message. The bird has a message for you. And that got me into the habit of tuning in because those vibrations are very high vibrations. Um, so that got me into a habit of tuning in, closing my eyes whenever I hear birds singing and listening to those songs by the birds. So find what works for you, what you find soothing, write those down. So we've done touch. We've done um, sound. Now smell. Now smells could be, I don't know if you can hear the birds, <laughs> but I can hear some and it feels amazing. Now the next one is uh, smell. So it could be incense sticks, it could be essential oils, or it could simply be a cream, a lotion that you like the smell of. Uh, it could be food or some fruit that you like. For example, mangoes or strawberries, they smell amazing and it instantly lifts you up. Um, it could be maybe a beverage like uh, lavender infusion or chamomile infusion that you like the smell of. Write those down. Great, once you've written those down, um, we're going to write down taste. So we've done touch, sound, smell, now taste. Something that you love the taste of. It could again be some fruit, strawberry, mango, or it could be a bev beverage or another, f uh, another food that you like uh, that makes you feel happy. Write it down. Great. Now that you've written these down, I invite you, whenever you have time after you watch this video, to go and experience each of these sensations. Like if you've written down you like the touch of your blanket, go and touch that blanket and be completely present with those sensations. All right? Or if uh, you've written down that you like the touch of the sun on your skin, go ahead and spend some time outdoors. Feel the touch of the sun rays on your skin right and experience each of these that you've written down today and every day even if it's just a minute it helps you to come back into the present it helps you to come back uh, and tune in into the sensations that each uh, sense organs can bring to your body great so that was the third technique that we practiced together now 
What have we done? The first one, we oriented ourselves back into the present. Second, we practiced mindfulness. So we had one sip of water, but we were very mindful through that. And the last one that we did is through the sensory experiences, we disengaged from low mood. We disengaged from those heavy feelings or thoughts and instead focused on more empowering or joyful sensations of uh, what we like to feel, what we like to touch, what we like to smell. All right? Great job. Now I'm going to tell you about those three techniques that you can practice by yourself later on. The first one is change of environment. Now, if you find yourself staying on your bed for hours, thinking about the same thought patterns, those negative thoughts or those negative experiences, then you need to move out of that environment. Just get up from your bed and go into the living room, for example. If you have a balcony, sit out in the balcony. If you have a garden, go and sit out in the garden. And that helps you to kind of detach from that pattern and find a new sense of security, a new sense of joy in that new environment. It provides a bit of distraction to your mind. Also, what is very, very important to note is that vibrations of your thoughts can get absorbed by furniture. So if you're spending two, three hours in your bedroom constantly thinking about those negative thought patterns, your bed, your bed sheet, your pillow, um, maybe a, any piece of furniture that you have in your room has absorbed those low vibrations. So you want to cleanse that away, open the window, move out from that space for some time, find another clear space, just find another distraction so that you are moving out of that space where, which was full of those vibrations of those uh, negative thoughts. All right, so that's the first thing you can do. Second thing is, we've spoken about that in some of my previous videos, is salt soak. So take a bucket of water, put some salt in it, rock salt if you have, or regular salt if you don't have rock salt, and put a good amount of salt. If you're taking one bucket for your feet, for example, you're going to take at least three big tablespoons of salt, and then soak your feet into that water. And while you soak your feet into that water, keep your feet separate. You don't want your feet to touch, keep them separate so that whatever is um, being released is not coming back into your body. You're not touching your feet, right? And while you do that, have that intention of letting go of those low thoughts or those heavy emotions and feelings. Imagine that water absorbing because it actually has the power to do that. Salt has the power to absorb um, energies. Or you can even soak your hands, your fingertips into a bowl of salt water and imagine all those negative thoughts, feelings, heavy uh, thoughts and feelings getting out of your body and into the water and then take that water and flush it away. Make sure it doesn't drip anywhere because you don't want that energy to be anywhere um, in your home. You just wanna flush it away, right? And when you're flushing it away, be grateful. Cultivate a sense of gratitude towards that water. Thank you for taking away what no longer serves me today. I'm letting it go. Thank you. And then flush it away. Great. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is another very powerful practice that Xenia spoke about in uh, a webinar that I attended. Um, it is about taking five minutes every hour to recharge your battery. Now, there are apps uh, that you can find and you can set up a chime that will ring five minutes every hour or just an alarm that if you're good with technology, if you know how to do it on your phone, you can set up an, an alarm that will ring every hour. And if you can, then have a chime ring for maybe five minutes every hour. If th that's too much for you, maybe three minutes every hour. And during those three minutes, you're going to stop whatever you're doing and use that time to center yourself, come back to yourself, spend some time with yourself, away from that activity that you were doing, maybe spending time with your breath, maybe thinking of those things that bring you joy, maybe just spending some time in stillness. Stillness has a lot of power as well. And just giving your body, your mind, some time to relax 
it's just three minutes or just five minutes and then you go back to whatever you were doing so this is a very very powerful practice as well i have been doing it um, a few times in the in the last few days and it feels amazing those five minutes are enough to recharge your batteries and you're ready to go again great so i've shared with you six techniques so please implement them however you can, whenever you can. And I promise that you will see and feel a difference um, in your life. I hope that this was useful. Please do leave a comment um, below. Let me know if you've implemented any of these. Let me know if you have any other techniques. I would love to learn from you as well. Please share this with whoever could benefit from it, especially during these times where we need to support each other so please do so uh, if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos uh, like this one thank you very much for following have a great day